Good morning, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Today is uh, Saturday, July 5th. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, first of all, I hope everybody had a safe and happy 4th of July um, and for the people in the United States, obviously. I know last week, I think, was Canada Day up in Canada. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Um, I'm going to show you the progress here, which is, like, awesome. So um, I'm going to show you. Here we are in the driveway coming in. And we have... This is all some of the dirt from over there, all down the side here on this side. And then I'll show you over here too. And here's the dirt over here, all through this area. So now what my hope is that next spring, when we have the runoff and the melt, where this was lower because now it's higher, that the water will come down, travel along this way, go out along the side there, and then out across the driveway that way over here. Okay, so that's kind of like what my hope is. Um, I do plan on having a culvert put in. I don't know if I'll get to it this year or not, but uh, that's obviously in the game plan. But if you see this here, this is all this dirt from over there, and I'll show you the progress over there. But this is all fresh now. And uh, even on uh, in the driveway, now comes all the way back from the road. You could probably put four cars, five cars in the driveway now, because the driveway comes all the way back to here now. Um, I will continue with more stone up here to meet this here, probably right up to that level there, okay? They'll have stone put in there. And then what I do plan on doing is I'm going to have more stone put in over here so I can come in and have like a turnaround. But look at over here. See, there's all up the side here. And this is all new dirt built up along the side here for the driveway. And then he has still a small pile of stuff here. But this is all now filled in with higher stuff. And uh, so I'll show you this over here. Now obviously he uh, graded this off for me. But uh, so as you can see, this is now quite a bit lower. And in the back here, he's gone, I mean, I'm standing here and it's probably four foot maybe, you know, and then you're going up the hill there. So, uh, so here it is here. So what, I, what my game plan is back in here, um, I'm going to put a concrete flooring in. Then I'm going to put concrete block here so I can do like a sub-basement, a smaller, you know, maybe four foot deep. And then I'll build up off the top of that. So... Um, and, uh, so as you can see, it's probably in that area there, it's maybe two feet, and the building is sitting on that, but, uh, he's got this all, all graded here now, and, uh, so he did that for me, and then obviously there's the outhouse, um, but, uh, so then I kind of had him come through here. This is Chris. Say hello, Chris. Hey, how are you? Um, I had him come through here, and he just kind of cleaned this up a little bit. And uh, there's the wood pile stack there. So now what we're going to work on today, now we're going to be back in wood mode today. But you can see he came through here, and he pushed all the stuff that was through in here just over. I'll show you this here. Just off to here for now. Okay, so that's kind of what he did for now because obviously for now I'm not going to be utilizing over through in here yet. But today what we're focusing on, and I will show you this, we're going to be, Chris and I are going to work up in here and we're going to just chainsaw. We're going to work in this area and these guys here. So I'm going to show you this, these pictures now. Because I'm going to show you the before and after once we get rolling here. But, uh, so, we're going to work on this. And uh, I'm, I was inspired last week watching a video by uh, Fixed by Doc and Hattie banging out their wood for the winter. So I have all these tops down, and i got to really get into them. Um, I've been trying to focus on other stuff too, and we got all the wood picked up that was down. So this is going to be it. And so hopefully when I show you guys this next, this will be all cleaned up. So that's what we're working on today. And uh, 
But uh, no, the, the progress on the property is just, I'm really, really pleased. Um, it's quite a bit of work done. And so now, like I said, I'm gonna, I had kind of uh, laying in bed thinking about how I wanna do this. And I decided that even though it's gonna be more expensive to go with concrete blocks, that's what I'm gonna do because it'll keep it cooler in the summer and it'll keep it warmer in the winter time. And up here it gets kind of cold in the winter. So, um, especially because of the elevation and stuff too. So here's, uh, here's what it looks like. So I'm gonna, like I said, the building from, I'm gonna probably come out, I don't know, from there, it's maybe 25 feet, something in that range. Gonna go back, you know, from the building, gonna go right back through here. So I'm gonna work on this area and, uh, you know, and it's gonna be, uh, and uh, just gonna work on that. So here's Heather and uh, Noemi. Hi. Say hello, girls. They're up here today. They're just gonna kinda hang because while we're cutting wood, they're just gonna be chilling out and relaxing. There'll be plenty for them to do later. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, just kinda give you a pan around view of it again. I mean, this is all filled in here now on both sides of the driveway. And uh, this is all leveled out and uh, it looks great. I'm really, really pleased. Uh, Bill did a fantastic job. So, well listen, as you probably hear the chainsaw in the background, Chris is starting. So I'm not going to keep doing a video and not get to work. So I'm off to work and I will, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, Prepper Nurse